So tonight we're gonna make fajitas, which is one of my favorite meals to make with chicken breasts. So I've got four chicken breasts here that are just about thawed. So we're gonna slice these up and then we'll start putting together our marinade. All right, so I've sliced my chicken between a quarter inch and a half inch thick across the grain. And to that, we're gonna add a quarter cup of oil and a quarter cup of lime juice or the juice of about one lime squeezed. Two tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, about half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Okay, and we're gonna mix this up and let it marinate in the fridge for about two to three hours. You're not gonna to wanna to let it go for more than four hours though because of the lime juice, which will start to react with the chicken and start to cook it. If you want more lime flavor, I suggest zesting a lime rather than adding more lime juice. So while our chicken is marinating, I'm gonna dice up some vegetables to cook at the same time as our chicken cooks. So in the bowl, I've got two sweet onions that I've just chopped up and we're gonna add two cloves of garlic. And then I've also got a whole bunch of bell peppers that I've sliced up. And I've also measured out one teaspoon portions of all our spices and a bit of salt and pepper. And we're gonna use this to season our vegetables when we saute them. All right, so while our oven is heating up, we're gonna get our onions into a pot and we'll saute them. All right, now that they're starting to get a bit of color, I'll add in my peppers. So ideally to cook our chicken, we would do this outside on the barbecue, or you could fry it in a cast iron skillet uh, at really high heat. But because of the quantity of chicken I've got and the bad weather I've got outside, I've decided to broil it. And so I'm using a baking sheet that's been lined, and then I have a non-stick baking rack as well, so that uh, the juices that drip off the chicken don't end up making it uh, waterlogged and, and soggy, because I'd like my chicken to be a little drier and crisp uh, from that honey. So uh, we're gonna put this into an oven. I've preheated it to about 400 degrees, but I'm gonna broil this with my top broiler at about 500. So uh, it should cook very quickly, and then I'll pull it out, flip it over, and finish the other side. All right, and after a couple of minutes, you can see our chicken is starting to get crispy on the top. I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes and then we'll flip these over. And we can add our spices, salt and pepper, to our vegetables. So after about seven minutes on the broiler, my chicken is almost done, but I am going to flip it over. And rather than flipping over each individual piece, I'm actually gonna lay a second cooling rack on top of the chicken, and I'm actually just gonna flip the two cooling racks over, and that will make quick work of flipping my chicken. Okay, and just a couple more minutes under the broiler, and they are done. So we're just gonna finish up our vegetables, and we'll be ready to make some fajitas. All right, and here's my fajita prepared, with a whole lot of peppers and onions down at the bottom, some of our chicken, some cilantro, cheese, salsa, sour cream, and a little bit of lime. This is definitely one of my favorite recipes if you're going to be broiling or barbecuing the chicken because of the honey. And uh, I really enjoy the lime and the cumin as well. Hope you guys enjoy.